Several cash trees market vendors paraded the offices of the Cash Tree City Council Monday morning. The angry vendors are calling on the council to account for their trays and other belongings, which they say went missing over the weekend. The vendors say they pay a fee to operate at the Cash Tree's market, and so the Cash Tree City Council must secure the area. Priscilla Joseph, who vends at the Cash Tree's market, says the situation is frustrating because the council has failed to address the issue that vendors claim has been brought to their attention on several occasions. At night we, we have a stall, we put our things, but our stand and our tray, we put them in a, in, a, in a manner way so that when we come in we can find it the Monday morning. But whenever we come in the Monday morning, we don't find it. The people not cleaning there, they take it and they throw it away. And then when we, so, and, and what we sell, every day we pay um, $3, Fridays and Saturdays we pay $6. Sight. The deputy chairman of the city council says he was astounded by the vendor's approach. And irate MacArthur Fowell says he was shocked when he saw the group of vendors at his office demanding that the situation be addressed. He claims the council had just met and concluded several approaches to tackle the issues plaguing vendors. If we didn't give them the assistance that they're seeking now, they don't have every reason to, you know, every right to call you. But we have not refused. We are just leaving to go on site, if you didn't hear let me repeat it, to see what the problem is and to try and resolve it. And there you are. For all the S's, DBS, HTS, I don't know which other S might, might come next. But I'm, I'm annoyed. That is enough to annoy you. And we can now refuse to go there if we choose to. But they did pay the market vendors a visit. The manager of the cash trees market says the city council is now responsible for finding a place to store the vendor's stalls and other belongings safely. Timothy Sumar says although the council has decided to relocate the small tree vendors to inside the market, those vendors must upkeep their environment. On a weekend, we will have to find ways and means for the people to sell because we cannot, we cannot throw their trays. I'm not saying we're going to throw the trays when we put them inside. We have to find somewhere to stack them, all right, somewhere suitable, because as you know, we have a problem with, with the rodents and so. You cannot have rodents walking on all of this and then people have to come and buy stuff from it. We have to find a suitable place to put those trays and then to allow them to sell inside on a, on a weekday and on a weekend, get those trays from wherever they, wherever they are stored. There's now city council's problem to find a place to store the trays. Timothy Sumar says the small trays which presently occupy most of the market space might soon be gone. However, Augustine Victor of the city council says the vendors must adhere to the market regulations. We are there to help the people to make a dollar. They also have to understand with us to make sure that we can put the city in an in a area where everybody can enjoy the whole city. You cannot have a tray with a, sh a, a size of a sheet of a plywood. How can you have that? Where will you get space to, 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 to store this tray? We have to have, you know, the size of trays where we can have a nice area where the people can put the thing. Need what the people just, what they do, we also ask the vendors to take a garbage bag to put the rubbish when they finish. They just leave all the rubbish on the ground. This costs the city council, we have to pay money all the time. City council officials say the stores and some other items belonging to the vendors were removed by contract workers who clean the premises every weekend because they were not organized properly. One source within the council indicated that the $3 fee paid by the vendors to operate from the market does not cover security for their belongings. Officials say there are plans to fence the entire market area and implement certain mechanisms to allow vendors to be more organized. Shannon Lebon, HDS News Channel 4.